At Glide, we are dedicated to keeping your business data safe and secure. Now, as an app developer, there are steps that you can and should take when building apps to keep your user data secure. And we've talked about this in a previous security video. We recommend that all developers master these concepts and the concepts in our university before building production apps. In this video, though, we're going to give you more context on the additional levels of security that Glide provides behind the scenes, so you can focus more confidently on the solutions you're building. Some organizations will require you to verify Glide's compliance with different regulations or frameworks before you can start incorporating your Glide apps with your company's data. The Glide Trust Center is where all of this information can be found. You can see an overview of Glide's compliance and security controls, resources about specific certifications, the status of every control in place, and all security updates. You can subscribe here as well to future updates, review Glide's full privacy policy, and request access to further verification sources if needed. In this video, though, we're going to cover some of the major points. Security frameworks in SOC 2, compliance and GDPR, and Glide's physical network security. Cybersecurity frameworks are guidelines or standards established for managing cyber security risk. SOC 2 is one of the major frameworks that you may have heard of. When building apps for businesses, nonprofits, and schools, compliance with one or more of these frameworks is nearly always required. Each framework has its own requirements, and organizations choose which framework to use based on their needs. SOC 2 bases its framework on five core principles. Security, availability, processing integrity, confidentiality, and privacy. To earn a certification from one of these organizations, tech companies have to be audited by independent evaluators, and that audit is extensive, going through company processes, training, employee codes of conduct, equipment maintenance, system backups, business continuity plans, and incident response plans. The result at the end is a thorough picture of a company's security practices delivered in a format that is easy to evaluate. And Glide has completed this process and is now SOC 2 Type 2 certified as of July 2024. In addition to security frameworks, there are international regulations that organizations must also comply with. GDPR, or General Data Protection Regulation, is an expansive regulation that you've probably heard of from the EU that protects personal user data for EU citizens. Glide has implemented technical and security processes to ensure that we comply with GDPR obligations. Glide CTO has written a white paper about this, where you can learn more about Glide's GDPR compliance in detail. The state of California also has a similar set of regulations with the same purpose, called the CCPA, or California Consumer Privacy Act. Glide is also compliant with the CCPA. Glide's infrastructure is built on Google Cloud Platform, with all data processing occurring within the US. GCP certifies their physical security with comprehensive compliance and controls, including electronic surveillance and professional security personnel at all data center entry points. GCP is accredited against multiple security industry certifications, including the International Standard for Information Security. Each and every connection made to Glide is end-to-end -end encrypted by TLS. Glide forces TLS for all services, including our public website, and the customer data is stored in encrypted form using state-of-the-art encryption. And Glide implements endpoint management and monitoring to ensure employee workstations are secure, since they can access user data. Our team is continually investing in Glide security, so to find the latest up-to-date information, you can visit glideapps.com security.